It's 7 a.m. in Wharton, Maryland, as the sun begins its journey into the morning sky. Here at Rusty Rooster Farm, the quiet dawn is broken by the familiar sound of power tools. Right now, this poultry farm actually doesn't have any poultry. The last flock left a few days ago, and the new one hasn't arrived yet. We keep the birds for seven weeks, and then we have a clean-out time, which we're in right now, turnaround time, which allows us to prep the houses and make sure that the environment for the next flock of birds coming in is as clean and sterile as we can do. First-generation farmer Jeff Pettit got into the bird business in 2018, raising certified organic chicken. He still works full-time in law enforcement, while his wife Karen manages the farm's daily chores. With six houses capable of holding 36,000 birds each, it's your typical modern poultry operation. The computer is set up on a, on a schedule, so it, it knows exactly how old the bird is. I tease people who think there's nothing to poultry farming. I just say, yeah, well, the birds come in, you know, you just hit the start button, and then seven weeks later, you come back in, hit the stop button, and take the birds out of the house. But obviously, that's a, <laughs> that's a lot of exaggeration there. All the houses have advanced monitoring systems for temperature, water usage, air quality, and more. But it still requires human intervention. We're in here at least on a minimum of three times a day walking inside the houses, making sure the temperatures and stuff are right. Even though there is monitors there, if something goes awry, it will alert us. You know, I can look at my phone and see what the, what the alert is. But you gotta stand close by so you can come right down and, and correct the problem. And those systems use a lot of electricity. All the lights, water pumps, and especially fans. Each house has 18 of them, which are critical for bird health. In the middle of the summer, when it's 90 degrees outside and you're trying to maintain the temperature inside the house of 70, 65, 70 degrees when the birds are ready to leave, it requires, it requires a lot of fans. And we will run 18 fans and the birds will drink 3,000 plus gallons a day in a house. So we're pumping a lot of water and moving a lot of air. And that's, that's just what's required to, to maintain a healthy bird. Even during winter, they still have to run fans regularly to make sure the chickens have enough fresh air. Depending on the time of year, the farm's electric bill can range anywhere between $1,000 to $9,000 per month. Which brings us back to the sound of those power tools. Today, the company Sunrise Solar is installing a huge solar panel array at Rusty Rooster Farm. The whole project should be able to wrap it up in about two weeks. They should be able to finish this section in, in roughly a day. Called photovoltaic, or PV panels, they generate electricity when exposed to sunlight. That electricity will go to the utility company, which will offset the farm's usage, lowering or even eliminating Jeff's monthly bill. The system works year-round, even when the weather isn't perfect. A lot of people think that, ah, cloudy, it's not going not to be doing much today. And it does affect production, but we've even seen produce with a little bit, little layer of snow on there. So as long as that light is getting through the, to hit those solar panels, it's producing. While many companies focus on residential areas, Sunrise Solar CEO Richard Stoltzfus says farms make up the majority of his company's projects. Agriculture has sort of been our niche. I mean, you look around the eastern shore and it's full of ag, so that, that was sort of a good place for us. And then the chicken industry uses a lot of electric power. It's a necessity they can't do without, so solar's a good fit. We've done over 100 chicken houses since we've been in the, in the industry and have been able to show a lot of people how to invest back in their own business. And it's definitely an investment. With around 800 panels, an install of this size can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. But with the monthly cost savings, it doesn't take long for the system to pay for itself. We have installed right now should offset about $40,000 a year worth of electricity. It's a big investment, but hopefully in about 10 years, we should almost eliminate our power bill. Panels like this can last over 30 years, meaning all that energy comes from a clean, renewable source that won't contribute to climate change. 
While the environmental benefits are nice, an increasing number of Maryland farmers are turning to solar power for economic reasons alone. Since 2010, the price of photovoltaic solar panels has dropped more than 50 percent. Tim Grawl works for SunPower, the company that manufactured these ones. Technology is definitely improving, but more so as opposed to the technology is just the affordability of the equipment itself. And by the reduction in the cost of solar, that's what's made it more affordable for farmers and homeowners to go solar. Which helps reduce the environmental impact of the food we eat and helps farmers like Jeff secure lower operating costs for years to come. It will take several weeks to finish the system and connect it to the power company. But by next month, when the sun rises on Rusty Rooster Farm, it'll do more than just wake up 200,000 chickens. It'll help take care of them, too. As for the Pettit family, their future looks bright. I'm ready to leave my current job. This gives me another, another option to be able to work with the family, side by side with my wife and, and kids. I'm pretty fortunate in that.